Hello everyone! Today our target is Dubai downtown. It's the most touristically attractive and the most popular part of the city. Together we'll walk along all its dark streets, stop over the Burj Khalifa and find out what goofs are in the movie Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. But let's start with the beginning. The center of this district is very attractive, but its outskirts are still in the middle of construction and they will be completed not until 2023. Almost all new buildings will be residential. The word downtown literally means central business district. But in case of Dubai, this term doesn't correspond to reality, because Dubai downtown is more touristic and residential. It is business only partly. There is a section of office buildings from the subway to the Dubai Mall. A part of Bush Khalifa's floors is also occupied by offices. The very center of the district is dancing fountains. There are main sites around them, clockwise. Burj Khalifa, the Dubai Mall, Souk Al Bahar Market, and Dubai Opera. As well as residential and hotel skyscrapers. The main body of entertainments are hidden in the Dubai Mall. You can easily get lost there for several hours. Both the amount of entertainments and the mall size make it possible, because it is the largest mall in the world. There is an ice rink in the mall. It's popular with people from tropical countries. The ice rink is exotic for them. You'll recognize them by their clumsy attempts to move in skates like in usual shoes. Hysteria is an attraction for people who like to thrill themselves in gothic style. Virtual Reality Park Here you can kill virtual zombies, play as a bad doctor and moreover save the world from monsters and computer terrorists. Kidzania is a complete city but in children's scale. Adults can enter here only accompanied by children. Its enter looks like a flight check-in desk. There is a giant aquarium near the food court. It has more than 300 species of sea animals. Outside, the aquarium is available for any visitor. Its tunnel is also an enter to an underwater zoo. You can take an extreme excursion. Try on diving suit and swim among the fish, accompanied by an instructor. This entertainment lasts for 30 minutes. There is the largest screen wall above the aquarium. It consists of 820 TV panels. Speaking about the rent in this district, you will pay $12,500 per year for a studio in the outskirts and more than $18,000 for a one-bedroom apartment. The reasoning of the prices is as follows. The closer to fountains, the more expensive the rent is. For example, the block of flats Yansun is on the average distance from the fountains. Here the cost of one-bedroom apartment starts already with $20,000 per year. As for Burj Khalifa, here we speak about strength. The safety is on a higher level. The building is fenced and accurately patrolled. If you are not resident or a guest in Armani Hotel, you can't get in the building. It's officially stated that there are 163 floors in the building. 154 are used, plus 9 of them are mechanical. Many people falsely assume that these floors are up to the spire. But it is not so. The highest 46 floors up to the spire are just a metal construction with windows. Nobody lives there. There are not rooms. If we count these floors too, the total amount will be 211. 
including two parking floors under the ground. By the way, this parking holds 3,000 cars. The hotel and the residential part of the building have separate driving apps. Its elevator system is complicated. You have to get used to it. For example, if you want to go to a gym from the 30th floor, you'll have to go down to the ground floor. Then you should get into another elevator and it will bring you to the place you need. Luxury gyms and swimming pools with terraces are on the 43rd and 76th floors. There are even shower rooms overlooking the city. However, due to the building structure, each room is not really big. So every gym is split into several training rooms. The rent of a studio in Burj Khalifa starts with $26,000 for 50 square meters per year. A one-bedroom apartment starts with $30,000 for 90 square meters. In order to get to an observation deck, you should go to the Dubai Mall. You can walk into the building through a special tunnel only from it. The observation decks are on the 124th and 148th floors. The cheapest ticket for an adult is $37. If you add as much again, it will be more useful to visit the bar of the Atmosphere restaurant on the 122nd floor. The view is the same, but it's more comfortable. You don't have to pay for a ticket and you can spend the saved money on cocktails. Well indicates she will check in at the Burj Hotel in Dubai in 36 hours. Now let's speak about Hollywood goofs. The main characters of the movie Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol stayed in Burj Hotel on the 119th floor. Tom Cruise's character climbed 11 floors till a server room, which was on the 130th floor. Floor is enough. Oh, 130. Here are some mismatches. Firstly, Burj Khalifa is a multifunction building and there is not Burj Hotel. There is Armani Hotel. Secondly, the highest floor of the hotel is on the 39th floor of the building and there are office rooms on the 119th and 130th. Hollywood likes to dramatize. The second wave of activity comes to downtown in the evening. Shopping gives way to rest. The dancing fountain show starts at 6 p.m. It repeats every 30 minutes. The music and the dance itself changes every time. The dancing fountains shift to an illuminated show. The building Burj Khalifa serves as a screen. The territory around the fountains is enormous. If you have already explored the Dubai Mall, you can continue the evening by walking around the fountain lake, so you will miss none of the shows. That's all about Dubai downtown. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. It was The Bald Guy. See you next time.